Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Barak Adah To all my brothers and the sisters that keep the law And the faith On the highways, byways Pushing commandments to all of my people In the place where they never were equal And the people who run it are evil Shooting us down in the street Poison the food that we eat Poison the water we drink Making it hard to think The devil is playing for keeps They get the money and go Leaving us stuck on the bottom Soon as they spot them, they got them I tell you the devil is rotten I know that them niggas is scheming and plotting It won't be forgotten Yeah, how it is watching Soon as he give us the power, my nigga You know that we getting it popping Yeah, how it by Shim Yeah, how it shot me my This is 17th floor Jeremiah 17th floor Give me that We judge the angels Y'all don't know how special y'all are The Mexicans too Cubans, Puerto Ricans, we are the Israelites. And this white man got y'all like zombies. Have no soul. Just walk by with, with bogus clothes on. Or Hollywood Boulevard with long fake hair looking like snow cones. Well, what is that? We just, we just the angels. It's in there. Google it. The ones that we just the angels. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wake them up in these zombies. Google it. We just the angels. They need us to judge the angels. Y'all know the new UFOs. I love. I was thinking that there's a bunch of green men on UFOs and they're about to attack the world. There's gonna be a big ship that's gonna attack the world. And I come to the conclusion. Conclusion that if there's a UFO out there, I'm helping the aliens. I'm letting you know right out off the top. I'm helping the aliens. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter six and verse two. Do you do ye not know that the saints judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest of matters? Know ye not that we shall judge the angels? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Know ye not, we gonna go back to that. We. Know ye not, we shall judge angels. We will judge angels. What's up, homie King? My man, I know you, you don't know, you don't see me. <laughs> we will judge angels. I bet you y'all preaching ain't told y'all that. Go, go to church and ask the preacher when we judge angels. Yes. They don't want us to get to our supernatural powers. Y'all right. see movies like X-Men and uh, all of these movies where the superhero got all these powers. Y'all don't know that those movies are about us. But they don't want you to tap into that. They want to keep y'all in the customs and the heathen and breaking laws. Well, you can't, you can't coming to your power if you got pork in your system. If you take on the customs of the heathen. If you cutting down trees and putting them in your house during Christmas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your question, sir? Hold on. You drinking? We don't talk to people that's drinking. You talking to the man, the man of God and you drinking. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. We can't, we come, can't here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, sister. Come here. And be a real woman and step up to us. Be a real woman and step up. Don't talk from a distance. You said you can eat pork all day. I need you to step up. That's I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, they know the scriptures to come out. You got it. Now you know, hold on one second, hold on one second. I'm gonna hurt you too. You can eat pork all day. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta get this right. We say that again. As a real woman, I'll give you your respect and keep stepping and listen. Don't go nowhere. But I can eat pork and I can pray and read my Bible every day. And my God will speak to me. And that's all I need to be saved and go to heaven. That's all I need to be. Okay. She can eat pork and then she can pray about it. That's what the, that's what the church is teaching now. As long as I'm praying and reading my word, 
That's all it takes for me to have a connection with oh God. Oh my God. Well, God will leave me the rest of the I could be a homosexual and okay. then be with a man and no, then pray no. about it and then I'm good with God. Now how do we how do we see the the, the, the new kingdom if we could just pray about it and open the Bible and, and everything is okay? Well listen, right after we pray and seek the word and seek God's voice. We will hear what it takes okay. to lead us in the right path. Oh, just get your answer. Now, we can be gay, but we got to continue to seek God and let him change our heart and our mind. And then we can be saved by the grace of God. Yeah, that. that was perfect Christian. Precept, precept. Precept. You know. precept. This is the book of the law. Leviticus, chapter 11. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Something like this. Sister, how you doing? What's your name? My name is Bible Reading. I've heard God's voice in my prayers. God speaks. That's a long name, That's sister. All I need. That's a very long name. That's all I need. Is that with one one S or two S's? And we don't have to debate this in a while. Yes. I'll give me a prayer. I got you. I got you. The Bible says to debate. Your... Right, right, right. The Bible says to debate thy cause. Give me a Leviticus eleven and seven. Let me show you. Something. It says that too. It's, that's not all we gotta do. Uh, Leviticus eleven seven. Listen up, sister. Listen. This we out here. We out here for our people. So listen up. This is the book of the law. Leviticus chapter eleven, verse seven. And the swine though he divided the hood and be cloven footed. And the, and the what? And be cloven footed. No, and the what kind of animal? The swine. You know what kind of animal the swine is? That's a pig, right? Go ahead. And the swine hold on, hold on, hold on. the hood, right? Hold on, 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 God wants to with the he, his purpose is to clean up the, the filth around the world. They don't chew the cud, that means they don't digest their food, and they don't sweat. Right? right? So we're not supposed to eat them. Uh, give me uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. I'm going to show you something else. That's why we clean You can't clean it. God said it was unclean. So we can't say something's clean that God made unclean. Uh, he said it's not for you. The Most High said that uh, eating swine is a, um, He just told you right now. He just told you right now. That's why. That's why you walk. Uh -huh. Right. It's not good for our body. If you go to the doctor, he's telling you right now. That's why you walk by in order to hear this. God's not going to come down and sit in your living room and tell you not to eat pork because you won't, you'll die. Who said pork? Obviously, you can, okay, you know what? There's nothing more important than what God said, right? So if God said you can't do it, you can't do it. You give me Malachi 3 and 6. The word is right here. He's telling everybody because he wrote it. Do you believe in the Bible? Now, do you believe that's God's words? I don't. Do you believe that God told you not to eat pork? No, no. I believe I don't, that I don't believe through see, the word. See what I'm saying? Listen, I he believe through the word. He told you not to word, eat pork, and I now you're eating God's pork. Just, this is the word right here, sister. Just, just, yes, Let me show you something word, else. I will hear God's voice. He's now, telling you, you right God's now. Voice. You hear God's voice? God's voice. Because I read the Bible. He wants you to hear. God's Isaac, word. he wants and everybody to hear. Do you have a personal relationship with God? Do you have a personal relationship with God? Where did the Bible say have a personal relationship with God? They go to a scripture in the Bible where it says have a personal relationship with God. God spoke to you through the Bible. And guess what? So you don't believe in the Bible. That's the devil. Well, he's telling you not to eat pork. But I believe that when I read the Bible, uh -huh. I have to that's, seek God's that's word. What it is. That's How come you didn't read that? When God and tells me to ask uh -huh. that's what I know. He's telling you to ask right there. Me. The voice of God by me reading This the is the voice of God. This is the voice of God. Hey, you so gonna, you're rejecting you the voice hear, of God. He's no, talking to you literally you right now. I know what's going on. No, what God has is for everyone. 
Everybody got a different No, you can't have no private interpretation of the Bible. You gotta, you gotta read it for what it says. We adore him. That's a lie. Maybe there's no private interpreter. Look it up on your phone. I'm gonna show you something. Will God? Will God? Yeah, and then he, and you pray, right? Right. It came down right here. It came down right here in front of you, sister, on Hollywood Boulevard. Now, let me show you that God will kill you if you eat pork. Read that up. Just listen to the word of God. One time, just listen. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 17. Start at 15. Verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. This hasn't happened yet. This is future context. Go ahead. To render his anger with fury right. and his rebuke with fires, with, so like it, with flames of fire. His rebuke with flames of fire. He's coming back mad and pissed off. Go ahead. Verse 16. For by fire and by his word will the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. The slain of the Lord is going to be many. Go ahead. Hold on, sister. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, God said to everything okay. there is a feast. Verse 17. Right. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves right. in the garden behind one tree uh -huh. in the midst right. eating swine's flesh. Eating what? Oh. Eating swine's flesh. Oh. Eating what? Eating swine's flesh. Oh. And the abomination. Right. And the mouse right. shall be consumed together. The Most High said, "If you come back, if you come back and you eat pork, he's gonna kill you." That's what the Bible say. Give me that. Give me that. What you looked up? This is Second Peter chapter one verse twenty. Go ahead. Knowing this first, right? That no prophecy of this scripture, no prophecy of the scripture. Go ahead. Is of any private right. interpretation. Of any private right. interpretation. Give me Malachi three and six. Right? So we cannot um, make it say what we want it to say. We gotta say basically. We gotta go off of what it exactly says. There's no way out there. Right? This is Malachi chapter three verse six. Right. For I am the Lord. Uh huh. I change not. God don't change. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Now, who are the sons and the daughters of Jacob? Anybody on this sign right here, the 12 tribes of Israel, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, those are the children of God. Those are the Israelites. Right? Go ahead. Can y'all give me a little bit of space? Okay, y'all good, y'all good. Sister, can you give me a little bit of space? Sister, can you, can you get, is this your friend? Okay, can you get here a little bit? All right, go ahead. I understand. He's telling all of us the same thing. Our purpose is to come out here and tell our people what the Bible says. Sister, can I tell you this? I don't want to interrupt you. I don't want you to interrupt me. Our purpose is to come out here, preach the word of God, the way it's uh, written correctly and directly to our people, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Right? Right. That's right. That's right. That's right, sister. And he's telling and he's telling our people. Well no, it's only the hold on, it's only the it's only the truth. That's the right way. That's not that's not the way the Bible works. It doesn't. Right, but he has his word and that's the what it is. The word is the word. You can't make no private interpretation of it. Yeah, but you have to be you have to you have to be keeping the commandments in order to get that understanding. That's not how you make it to the kingdom of heaven, sister. How you make it to the kingdom of heaven? Give me Matthew nineteen sixteen. Give me Matthew nineteen sixteen because they won't understand it. Go ahead. Hold on, brother. Hold your question. And his and his laws and his directions. This is Matthew. So he told you don't take you Verse 16. Listen, listen to this one thing. And behold, one came and said unto him. One scripture, sister, one scripture. Go ahead. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right, so one man came to Christ and he said, what do I have to do to get to the kingdom of heaven, right? Go ahead. Let's see what it said. Let's see what Christ said. Is that written in red? Is that Christ's words? 
It's written in red, right? Let's see what let's see what Christ said. Go ahead. What colors thou me good? Uh huh. There is none good but one. There is God. But if thou will enter into life. So he said, if you want to enter into life into the kingdom of heaven, go ahead. Keep the commandment. What do you have to do? Keep the commandment. What did Christ say out of his own mouth? Keep the commandment. No, all you have to do is pray. Keep, keep the commandments. You got to keep the commandments. That's what Christ said out of his mouth. Read that up. This is the book of John, chapter 31. Go ahead. Now we know that God here is not sinner. So if you sin in the eating pork, God is not going to hear your prayer. That's a lie. This is the Bible. See, here's the thing. We're starting to understand that our people don't believe in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Read it again. I, read it again. This is John, chapter 9. Verse 31. Right, go ahead. Now we know. Now we know. That God heareth not sinners. God is not hearing your wicked prayers. But if a He's man, not. Because you eat in pork. And it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy. You can even ask your, uh, at, at the hospital, they're going to tell you to stop eating pork. But what? God tells you to stop eating pork, and you keep eating pork. But when the hospital tells you to stop eating pork, then you stop eating pork. You don't listen to God. You don't care about God. You don't care about this Bible. It's right here in your face, and you don't care, man. We start to understand and see that our people do not care about God in these last days, man. Right? I knew her spirit. The soon as she walked up, that's why I grabbed it from you, brother. I'm going to give it back to you. As soon as she walked up, I read her spirit, man. Right? We show her in the Bible two, three, four precepts. She got the nerve to say that's a lie. No, her life is a damn lie, man. Right? That's why she's uh, uh, halfway over the hill with her weight, man. Because she's eating too many damn club sandwiches, too many damn pork sandwiches, too many damn baby bag ribs, right? Too much damn fat back, man. And you got the nerve to tell me that God's words is a lie? Two thirds of our people got to get put to death, man. Go ahead, brother, bring it up. Okay. And the wicked shall flee. When no man Okay, brother. Okay, pull up your pants first, man. Be respectful and keep them pulled up. That's right. Are you sober? Okay, what's your question? I'm gonna do about five minutes then let me go up. Yeah, what's up? I'm just saying. That's a crazy hypothetical question. I ain't not gonna get through if it don't keep the commandments. It's gotta keep the commandments, the book and all. We all about the commandments. Yeah, it's about philosophies of what book is gonna be successful. Is not what we're here for. Uh -huh. I don't think so. If it ain't got nothing that got to do with God in it, it's not going to get through. Okay. Yeah. And keep the, keep, the, keep the Sabbath day and keep these laws. These laws, statutes, and commandments. I think Isaiah for dealing with that, 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 that wicked woman that don't want to be submissive. She can't be submissive to a man if she can't be submissive to God's word. God's word said clearly, this is how you're supposed to... She said, no, you can't tell me... So I already know that her husband is going to have a whole lot of work to do with her. Well, her, she might have... You know, them guys in jail, they need no... Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My boy Isaiah came back and, and blazed it up. Yeah. Um, this is the Sabbath. We are the Israelites. Mostly... All of these males walking by are Israelites and probably don't even know it. They walking by, they probably uh uh, we Christians. Y'all are Israelites of your father, and you you come from slavery. If your ancestors were slaves, right you are Israelites. Right. They don't know how powerful being an Israelite is. We got special powers. We we do everything better than every other nation. Everything. Every other nation, even dance. You see, they walk right by us in God's word to go watch another Israelite dance. And only Israelites can dance like that. I don't know. They taught the Jabberwockies. 
They're not Israelites. <laughs> How y'all doing, sisters? All right. Y'all can take the mask off. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Take the mask off. Let me see your pretty face. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I'm about to uh, end this in a second. I need to I need to get a precept before I end this. Okay, he got to get out. He got to get out of that, whatever that is. Yeah, he walked by us with an Edomite. Don't know the Edomites are the enemy to the Israelites. We have a biblical enemy. They are the Edomites. They're the most wicked race of people, and God hated them. God hated them in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Yeah, get it from me. The, shalom, brother. Right. The Edomites are a hated nation. God hated the Edomites. Rob Judah. Did God hate the Edomites? Yes, sir. Give me that, King. This is Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob, have I loved. Jacob, have I loved. Jacob are the black people. <laughs> yeah. Jacob are the Negroes in America. And the, Jacob are the Hispanics, the Cubans, the, the Haitians. <laughs> Read. But Esau have I hated. But Esau have I hated. Give me that uh, second address, chapter 6, verse 54. Esau, so y'all up here in church, y'all thinking that God loved everybody. And salvation is for every. All you gotta do is believe in your heart. Believe real hard and open up your heart. And if you believe real hard, then God will bless you and you will get that Mercedes. You know, that's not correct. None of that is correct. You gotta abide by the law, statutes, and commandments. And then you're gonna really find out how powerful you really are. Because God made you guys the chosen nation on this planet and we do everything better than every other nation of people everything god blessed us with we can do everything that deal with sports better than every other nation on the planet anything physical we are better than the right we are better than the africans what are the africans placing Sports and Olympics, they always come in last. I think they, the Africans come last behind Sweden. Sweden or uh, Greenland. <laughs> we are not African. They, they brainwashed you. We are the Israelites. Y'all let that sink in. Is a black pit bull and a black rock, rock robber the same dog? But they both black. We are the Israelites. That's right. They put us in chains. We were slaves to other nations. That's right. We are the slave descendants of Jesus. We have, we have Jesus' blood in our veins. And y'all don't even know it because that's too powerful of information. That information is too powerful for you. You know, we'd be going out acting crazy knowing that we're the descendants of Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, those are all Israelites. The whole Bible is for us exclusively. And I'm trying to teach y'all. And half of y'all walking by like zombies. I gotta preach that about you, this what your preacher not gonna teach y'all tomorrow. Your preacher is gonna tell you that salvation is for everybody. Jesus said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Y'all, no, no. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tell the truth. We were waiting on a cataclysmic event. After this cataclysmic event, everybody going to slavery. That's not the Israelites. <laughs> what you got, Mr. King? This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Pray right aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people. There, trans Thank you, my brother. He said, cry aloud. We are commanded to come out here and talk to our people. Right. Our destroyed people. 
We are the only ones destroyed. I'm talking, I'm getting to y'all. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'd be glad when Issachar wake up. That's right. Issachar, you're not a Mexican. Your biblical name is Issachar. Your biblical Hebrew name is Issachar. To all you Mexicans out there who going through the curses. Y'all going through the curses like us. Oh, that's right. Issachar. We waiting on Issachar to wake up. Y'all not Catholics. The Catholic Church that brought y'all here slaves and, and forced y'all into those Catholic churches into worshiping a white Jesus with slick hair. Well, y'all didn't even ask a question how this white slick hair man gonna walk through the top part of Africa with no sun candles. <laughs> He just walking through, getting burned up by the heat. But this is the Roman Catholic Church. Put out this image. He's a, a devil. My grandmother had this in her house. And I looked at this man every day I came over her house up until age 15. I'm thinking that Jesus is white. And I loved all the white people. I, I, I watched the Brady Bunch. I wanted all the cool things the white person had. I didn't have no idea how evil they were. I didn't know that they had Tuskegee experiments when they were trying to find out how to get the cure for syphilis by injecting black males with the virus. They will use you as a guinea pig in the hospital, and I hope y'all not going to the hospital thinking y'all got COVID. Don't let them swab your mouth. Don't let them swab your mouth. And I'm seeing all these young girls out here with this unacceptable clothing. I could tell your father wasn't in the house. I could tell whose father wasn't in the house. In some of these households. Judging by how they're dressed. I damn it better not see my daughter dressed like some of you 14, 15 year old women. Y'all are taking on the customs of the, of, the, of the heathen. Don't know who y'all are. It says adorn yourselves in modest apparel. Y'all coming up to Hollywood looking like a thought. Y'all heard that watch song. That watch song is going to get you in trouble. What is going to put a curse on all you, you men. Godly men. Yeah. Rap is going to do it all. I hope I hope y'all got the message that I brought out. I'm about to bring my next guy up who's real strong in the world. It's my guy, Isaiah. Come bring it out, Isaiah. Shalom, everybody. And y'all women, y'all need to be ashamed of yourself coming out here dressed like that. Put on some clothes. I'm the only one going to tell y'all that. Us Israelites are going to tell y'all, y'all out here looking unacceptable. And I don't know what it's for. Come. I give it up for the brother Harrell, man. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, man. That brother be straight blazing the block every week, man. Getting stronger. Just like every brother in this truth that's bringing it out. Uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast, even around the world, man. Right? The more and more that you come and do this work, and you come out here and tell our people what's going on, the better and better you are at getting closer to the kingdom of heaven, man. Right? The more and more that you turn away from these clubs, right? These wicked uh, dance clubs, the more and more you turn away from that marijuana, the more and more you turn away from stop getting drunk and passed out and gang banging and shooting your brothers and sisters down, the closer you get to coming back to the Most High and making it to the kingdom of heaven, man. That's right. Let me tell you something. The further and further you walk away from these wicked churches, the faster you're going to get to the kingdom, man. Because you're not getting into the kingdom if you still go into these wicked churches, man. Right? Passing around the collection plate, worshiping white Jesus. Right? That's making you go further and further away from the truth, man. So we come out here and we tell our people what's going on. We say, Kwam Yasharala. Right? We say, All praise to the Most High, Yahabah, Shemi, I was shy. Hey, give me uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 4, and we're going to do something real quick, man. We're going to do something that we're obligated to do as Israelites, man. Okay? 
Men, women, and children, we are supposed to do this as Israelites. Read that out. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Right, so y'all repeat after me. Uh, Shemai, Yasharala, Yahweh, Alahayanara, Yahweh, Akun. We just said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord in our own uh, in our original language, the Paleo Hebrew, man. That's right. Right? We're supposed to say that every day when we wake up. And if you don't know it in the Paleo, just read Deuteronomy 6 and 4. The Lord our God is one Lord. Hear, O Israel, man. Okay? What you're going to come to find out when you read this Bible is only talking to the Israelites. This Bible ain't talking to no other race of people but the Israelites, man. Now, here's the real big question. Who are the Israelites, right? <laughs> Because it ain't those damn fake Jews. Uh, and this is just an abomination, man. All right? You cannot be no homosexual, no cross-dressing, no none of that, man. And you just giving that to the Most High God, okay? you giving that finger to God. And God's going to kill you and strike you down, man. But I think you already know that. Because if we ask that person, do you believe in God, guarantee he's going to say no. Why? Because the Most High gave him up to vile affections, man. All right? So back to the lesson, man. Right? Who are the Israelites? You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Y'all are the real Israelites. Y'all are the true children of the Most High God, man. And how do we know that? Because those fake Jews cannot possibly be the real Jews. They cannot possibly be the real Israelites because they don't have any melanin. You know what melanin is, young brother? Melanin is what gives you color, right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and pretty much every other person on this planet except for the white man has melanin. They were born without melanin. Look at this lady right here. She's pink. She's red, right? She's turning red. But that sister right next to her, she has melanin. That brother, he has melanin. But they don't have no melanin. So how could they last in Israel and in Egypt being the real Jews? It's impossible. Right? Impossible. Right? Hermano. Amigo. Right? And they turn away their ear from hearing the Lord. But we out here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? We're here to tell y'all that y'all are the real Jews, okay? That y'all are the Holy One of Israel, okay? That y'all are the ones that God loves, man. God don't love everybody. I mean, we know that, right? But the ones that don't know that, all you got to do is look around. Why did God deprive one nation of people from having melanin? Melanin blocks you from the sun from getting radiation from the sun they don't have it man right why don't they have it because god hates them man all right did y'all sisters did y'all know that god hates a race of people who was those people the, no i said a race a race of people the so-called white man woman and child okay the, the most high god the god of israel he hates the edomites god hates the edomites Okay, who are the Edomites? The so-called white man. That's who the Edomites are. The ones that's shooting your brother and your sister down in the street with their damn hands up. That's who the Edomite is, man. Go ahead, bring it out, brother. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 2. I have loved you, said the Lord Yahweh. Yet you say, wherein hast thou loved us? Right, so even, even in the Lord telling us that he loves us, we still be a stiff-necked. We saying, where has you loved us, man? Right? You got us in captivity. You doing all these things to us? But, hey, brother, those are your kids, right? When they do something bad, do you whoop them? Do you whoop them if they do something bad? Do you give them a spanking or a whooping? But you still love them, right? That's how God is doing to us, man. He loves us, but when we're not keeping his commandments, he puts us in slavery. Okay? Go ahead. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord Yahweh, yet I love Jacob. He said he loved Jacob, right? He's specifying who he loves. Jacob is the, the tribes on this chart right here. The 12 tribes of Israel, man. Jacob had his name changed to Israel in the Bible. Do y'all know what Israel means? It means sons of God, right? The princes of the power. So the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, those are the children of Israel. So God said he loves them. Go ahead. And I hated Esau. And he hated Esau. Esau is the so-called white man. Esau is the progenitor of the white race. Okay? He came out all red like a hairy garment with no melanin. 
because you can see his blood through his skin. Go ahead. And lay his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So whereas Edom said, they are impoverished, and that might be a man too, who damn knows, right? How you doing, brother? Shalom, shalom, all right? So the Esau, the Edomites, the so-called white man, he's telling God, we impoverished. But let's see what happens. Go ahead. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. What is the Most High going to do? I will throw down. They said they're going to build the desolate places. They're going to build America, Rome, Greece. They're going to try to do all of this. But God said, what? I will throw down. And the Most High said he's throwing that down, man. He don't care if you build up America and build up Greece. Didn't he take down Greece? Didn't he take down Rome? What is he going to do to America? He's going to take it down, right? So everybody is over here cleaving to America. They want to come out. They want to do their parties and their dances. You got damn Michael Jordan over here. He want to dribble a damn basketball for tips. Okay? They can't wait till the clubs come back open. They can't wait to go buy some more damn marijuana for the dispensary. They can't wait to come out here and find them a little hooker off of Figueroa. They love America, man. But the Most High said he's going to destroy America. And it says everybody's going to lament and weep for America. You know, the only ones who ain't going to be weeping, the ones that's keeping the commandments of God, man. That's right. You know why? Because we know our salvation is nigh, man. Go ahead. And they shall call them the bearer of wickedness. Read that again, brother. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. The border of wickedness, man. You know what the border is? Where something begins and where something ends. The so-called white man is the beginning and the ending of wickedness, man. And what else? And the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation forever. The Most High hates the so-called white man forever. That's not even a mystery, man. Okay? And if you want to disprove that, come up here and disprove it. We just read it out the Bible. The Most High does not love the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. And truth is, Newsflash, right? If you a black, Hispanic, or Native American and you come back to these laws of God, you gonna have a so-called white man as a damn slave in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Let's get that. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Let's prove all things, man. Because they're not gonna teach you this in your damn wicked ass church. In your iglesia, right? Jesus Cristo no blanco. Jesus Cristo Moreno, see? That's right. Jesus Cristo no gringo. Alright? Jesus is a dark-skinned black man with woolly hair, man. That's right. Right? But we still ask our people to come and step on this paint, this picture, and they can't do it, man. Ah. They can't come step on that, even though they know that's not Jesus, man. Sister, come step on this picture right here. You know that's not Jesus, right? Come step on this damn faggot. His name was Caesar Borgias. Right? This is not Jesus. This is not Christ. That's a white man whose name was Caesar Borgias, the son of Pope Alexander. Okay, he was a faggot and a homosexual. Right. Now, do you believe in Christ? Come step on this picture right here. See, our people are scared to step on this because this frightens them because they think that's really Jesus. That's what their church told them. That's what their grandma told them. That's what their abuela told them. Come here, brother. Come in. Check this out, man. We out here for our people, man. Step on that image right there, man. Ah, man. That's a lie. This this picture has kept our people in slavery for over 500 years, man. This is how you can control and, and have a whole plantation of 300 niggas and have two damn slave masters and none of them come and rebel, man. Because of that damn picture right there. That's right. All right. So what's your name, sister? What is it? Ali? Khan. So are you what's your father's nationality? Your father's white? Alright, so if your father is a so-called white man or any other race outside of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you will be not you will be a white person, basically. Alright? Are you like mixed with your with your mom? Your mom's black. So according to the Bible, your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. Okay? So if your father being a white man, that would mean according to the Bible and according to God, you would be white. Okay? 
But here's the, yeah, give me, let me show you that, because I don't want you to think I'm making anything up out here, all right? You guys, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, y'all got to come back to the laws of God. Read that out. Numbers 15, numbers 1 and 18, it's lucky. All right, Ali? And here's the thing, man. Your spirit may bear witness, okay? Your father could be an Edomite, or your father could be a black person or, or a Hispanic. Who knows, okay? But if your spirit bear witness, then it bears witness. Go ahead. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree, their pedigree, their pedigrees after their families, by the house of their father. By what? By the house of their father. So your father determines your nationality. Okay? That makes sense? All right. So we are here to tell the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people on this side, they are the real children of Israel. Those fake Jews in Israel are not the real Jews. Okay, your celebrities are talking about this. Dick Cannon is talking about this. Okay, your football, basketball players are talking about this. But they getting in trouble when they talk about it, right? But when we talk about it, we telling the truth, and we don't care what happens to us because we out here for the truth. Now I see why you couldn't step on this sign because this is your God. That's true, man. That's true. But really, Jesus is a dark-skinned black man with really hair, and he's coming back to kill the white people. That's tough, huh? That's tough. You gotta deal with it. All right? So, hey, we out here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Okay? That's right. You guys are Israelites, according to the Bible. Israelitas. Okay? El Tribo. Issachar. Okay? Jesus Cristo, no Blanco. Hell no, no Blanco. Emphatically, hell no. God, if God hated white people, why would they make him... God's son to be the people that God hates, man. That's demonic, bro. God. That's devilish, man. That means God hates his son, man. Because he hates all the Edomites, okay? That doesn't make any sense, man. I need to put this staff up real quick. Hey, Shadi, hold my staff up. Kind, because I need to pull some precepts. All right. So y'all need to stop coming out here with nothing to do, smoking your blunt, smoking your damn weed, your mota, okay, your marijuana, trying to turn up, trying to damn uh, catch a thought out here, trying to do the wop, all right, trying to wop it up. Hey, the Most High God is going to wop y'all into submission. That's and right. you so-called white people are going to slavery, y'all need to get ready for it, man. All right, do the push-ups, the sit-ups, run around the block if you have to. All right, get your cardio up, man. Everybody out here for their own vain opinions, man, and their own vain, uh, uh, the, they, they, they only out here to do what they want to do, man, but they're not out here to do the will of God, man. Somebody give me Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Huh. You give me Romans 2 and 13. All right. Ecclesiastes, let me step in right here. Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, and you give me Romans 2 and 13, man. We're not out here to play with y'all people, man. And most I said he gonna make our foreheads as strong as they foreheads. Kyle Nakia? Yeah. Kyle. So we gotta be out here just as crazy as they are here, but we out here with the word of God, man. We're not backing down for nothing. We don't care if some damn 50-year-old lady is twerking in our face, talking about she can eat pork, okay? We don't care if nobody wanna step up and get gangsta, talking about I'm gonna shoot y'all. You gonna shoot the prophets, okay? And God is gonna really destroy you. But as soon as we out here to tell our people what's going on, that y'all are the Israelites, and then all of a sudden everybody got a problem with it. Read that out. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 6. For I said crackling of thorns under a pot. Uh, Salaki, uh, Ecclesiastes, no, 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 hold on. 10, hold on. No, give me, uh, 10 and 6. Ecclesiastes 10 and 6, because everybody out here, they want to do their own thing, man. Y'all had nothing to do, man. Y'all was sitting in the house cooped up over COVID, and now y'all want to come out here and just straight walk around, bro, and just do laps with blunts, man. Looking at asses, man, because our sisters don't know how to cover their damn selves up. Read that out. This is Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in the great dignity. Read that again. Folly. It's said 
and the great dignity. You got Michael Jordan over here. Everybody crowding around fake Michael Jordan. Everybody crowding around the pop lock people. But we out here with the word of God, man. And nobody wants to stop. We out here with the word of God. Y'all gonna go to uh, your damn wicked churches tomorrow. Pack them damn churches up, right? But we got the actual word of God nobody wants to stop. Ain't that crazy, man? But they want to stop for the pop lock game. They want to stop for fake Michael Jordan. Okay? That dude is not even damn Michael Gordon, right? You got the damn uh, the hot dogs over here. This man down here singing Odie's. But we got the damn word of God and nobody wants to stop. Read it again, bro. Holy is set in the great dignity. And the rich set in low place. It said folly is set in great dignity, man. And folly means foolishness. The things that don't matter out here, everybody wants to crowd around for that. The things that don't matter out here, everybody wants to pack in line for that. The things that get you killed by the Most High God, everybody wants to line up for that. Okay? Everybody wants to be a damn twerker now and a weed head. Right? And get drunk off their damn rocker. Everybody's having fun with that. But we got the word of God right here. Everybody just walking by, man. All praise to the most high that you got a family right here that's listening to the word, man. All praise. Hey, give it up for them, man. All praise to the most high, man. Because you don't get that a lot. Everybody wants to see uh, who got the next blunt road. Okay? Everybody wants to find out, uh, can I hit that tonight? And I probably don't have to call it tomorrow. Right? Everybody wants to see who got the, who got the money on a fifth of Henny. All right, but nobody wants to fight, figure out what do I have to do to get to the kingdom of heaven. Nobody wants to figure out does God love everybody? How come He hates the Edomites? Nobody wants to figure out who are the real Jews according to the Bible. How come nobody's asking them questions, man? Right? That would be you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Y'all are the real Jews. You gotta keep the laws of God, man. You can't come out here on a Saturday night on the Sabbath. And be out here folly, man. Read that what you got up. Huh? It's the book of Romans, chapter 2, verse 13. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Ah, don't they always tell us? They always tell us. The law doesn't justify you. The law don't justify you. Read that again. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. But the doers of the law shall be justified. The, the doers of the law shall be justified. Okay? You can't come out here and say, yeah, I know I'm an Israelite. Yeah, I know we got to keep the law, but you ain't doing nothing to keep the law, man. What's going to happen? You're going to get killed. Give me uh, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, man. Okay? Nobody's hearkening to the words of God, man. But what do they want to do? We gotta give them some space, I guess. We gotta give them space to walk around here and smoke blunts and be folly. They need space for that. It's ridiculous, man. Okay. <laughs> Hey man, you know. You, it wouldn't be Hollywood if people couldn't walk around and be followed. Okay? If everybody on these corners was set up and reading the Bible, people wouldn't come out here. Bring it up. That's the property line for this place. Wow, man. But they closed, right? It's ridiculous. I thought it was going to be a I'm like, that brother, man, need to get a Bible. Right, right. All right. So we out here to tell y'all the truth, man. Y'all don't get enough truth in y'all life. God. All y'all get is lies, man. All y'all get is that Jesus is white. All y'all get is that church can save you. All you get is that all you got to do is pray and believe on God and be saved and sanctified. Watch by the holy blood of Jesus. Amen. But none of that is in the Bible, right? What's in the Bible? You got to keep the laws. What's in the Bible? God loves the Israelites. What's in the Bible? The Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What's in the Bible? God hates the damn so-called white man, the Edomites. Read this, brother. It's the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. No, they're going to get a pass. They shall die by 
by the sword. No, uh, they're gonna be. Uh, uh, God's gonna understand them. Shall die by the sword. No, they're gonna get a damn G pass to get to the kingdom because they got a personal relationship with God, and they called him last night. They talked to him. They wrote him a little letter. What did the Bible say? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Hey man, ain't no negotiation with that. You're not going to be able to negotiate your way through the kingdom of heaven, man. When Christ come back... Oh, no, turn it that way, y'all. All right, come on. You're not going to be able to talk to God and say, Hey, God, I know you know my heart, and I know you... I've been to do this, and I know you... No, man. He's going to straight kill you, man. It ain't going to be no negotiating, no questions, no, no answers, man. Right. It's going to be, did you keep my law? Actually, I know you didn't keep my law. That's why I'm here to kill you, man. Right. And, and it, it ain't all the time where God's going to do it. He might send a, a damn uh, a stray car to, to, to kill you, man. You might step out in that street and God kill you, man. He might give you cancer, man. Right. God ain't going to always come down and just talk to you face to face. You wouldn't even survive that conversation if God came and talked to you face to face. But what did that damn pig eating lady say, huh? Oh, I talk to God every day. I know he'll tell me what's right or wrong. He's telling you what's right or wrong right here. That's why he sent you up here, man. That's right. Right. Big as a damn house. What you got over there, Elodio? Bring it out. This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 5. Read. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Has not God chosen the poor of this uh, uh, the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which He has promised to them that love Him? Ooh, who did He promise it to? Read that last part again. The, he promised the kingdom. Uh, let me start over the top. Yeah, sorry, read it from the top. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Uh huh. Has God not chosen the poor uh -huh. of this world, rich in faith, right. and heirs uh -huh. of the kingdom which he has promised to them that love him? God, now give me uh, 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 John 14, 15. It said, promise to them that love him, man. Right. How do you love God? Can you send him a damn flower, Graham? Can you go to his Instagram and like one of his pictures? Right? <laughs> Can you be friends with him on Facebook? <laughs> That's what these people think, man. They really think that them and God have this personal relationship. They can hang out, go to the park, get on a swing, right? I'm going to pick up Jesus on five on five. I'm going to pick you up. Hey, hey, Jesus, I got you on my team. We need one more. That ain't how it's going down, man. How do you love God? Go ahead. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me. Right, if you love me. Keep. My commandments. What? Keep my, my commandments. How do you love God? Keep, keep my, my commandments. Commandment. That's how you love the Most High, man. You got to keep His commandments. Right. I gave a, a beautiful analogy with the brother. If your kids love you, they're going to do what you say, right? So if we love God, which we're His children, the children of Israel, we're going to do what He say, man. Right. He told us not to eat pork. We don't eat pork. But you got some damn chicken uh, face looking women talking about I could do what the hell I want to do, man. She looked like a damn swine, man. Right? It's ridiculous. And she going to say that's a damn lie. We show her in the Bible that God don't hear your prayers. She said, that's a lie because I know you hear mine. I talk to him every day. I talk to him every night. It's damn blasphemy, man. Okay? We're not out here for no folly and blasphemy, man. We're not out here for no people faking the funk, man. You wouldn't even hang out with somebody who faked the funk. I'm talking about, yeah, bro, you the homie. But you know deep down inside, he gonna sell you out, man. Right. You wouldn't hang out with that person. So God is not dealing with nobody who's faking the funk, man. God is dealing with people who want to do his laws, man. Do the will. Keep the laws of God. Yeah, how about you, man? Shalom, right that, huh? Come on, shalom, shalom. We are here for our brothers and our sisters in the truth, man. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the real Israelites, man. You are the children of God. Right. Hey, give me Luke 4 and 17. You give me Isaiah 61, man. Because don't they always talk about the gospel, the gospel, right? The gospel. What do they say the gospel is, Akio? Say it again. Come on, hey, what do they say the gospel is? Harrell? The gospel is the 
What are, what, are, what are these fake Christians say the gospel is? They say it's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in your heart. You pray real hard. Right, right. You gotta, you know, or, or, or they say the Great Commission. Yeah. But Christ told uh, the, the disciples, go and teach all nations. They say that's the gospel, right? Yeah. Let's see what Christ said the gospel was out of his own mouth. Give me that in Luke first, 417. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 17. Right? And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Eli Elias. Isaiah. Isaiah. The book of who? Isaiah. Go ahead. And when he had opened the book, right. he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Go ahead. He has anointed me to preach the gospel of the poor. Read that again. He has anointed me to preach the gospel. To preach the what? The gospel. This is what Christ is saying is the gospel. Go ahead. To the poor. To the who? To the poor. Who's the poorest people out here, man? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the ones on the bottom. Go ahead. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Who's the most brokenhearted people on this planet? Ak, Akiam, and Aqua. Look at everybody. Look at the people on this sign, man. They were raped, robbed, and murdered, and stole from. Stole their nationality. Stole their language. Right. Stole their heritage. Told them that they blacks and Hispanics and spicks and niggas, man. Got a Those are the broken hearted. Go ahead. He has appointed me to preach the gospel uh -huh. to the poor. Uh -huh. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Uh -huh. To preach deliverance. Deliverance. To the captives. To the captives. Who are the captives, man? We're still in this land of our captivity, man. We was taken captive. If we were free, how come they didn't let us go back to where they took us from, man? How come they didn't give us our language back? How come they didn't give us our last names back? Right. Our heritage back? Right. Y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are not free out here, man. We are still subject to damn slave master. Re go ahead. Recovery, the sight of the blind. Uh-huh. To set liberty. To set, to set, liber to set at liberty. Uh-huh. Them that are bruised. That are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now let's get it in the book of Isaiah. Because it did say he pulled it from the book of Isaiah. Right? Yes. Let's get it in the book of Isaiah. Let's see what that say. This is the book of Isaiah. Right. Chapter 61, verse 1. Right. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me. That sounds exactly like Christ was saying, right? The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, or God is upon me. Go ahead. Because the Lord hath anointed me. To preach good tidings. Good tidings, a.k.a. the gospel, a.k.a. good news. Go ahead. Unto the meek, uh -huh. he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Same thing he said. Go ahead. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To the captives. Go ahead. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. The opening of the prison to them that are bound. Same thing we just read that Christ said the gospel was. It sounds like he's talking to a specific group of people. Go ahead. To proclaim the acceptable year of our Lord, Yahweh, uh -huh. and the day of vengeance of our God, right. to comfort all that mourn, and where? to appoint unto them that mount and mourn in Zion, and where? in Zion, everybody all together, and where? in Zion, and where? in Zion. That's the damn gospel, man. He's talking to the Israelites. Right. He's telling them, I came to give liberty to the damn captives, man. Right. I came to heal the bruised, man. He's saying to declare liberty in Zion, man. So when people talk about the gospel, the gospel, oh, the gospel, Christ told you what the gospel was, and where did he quote it from? The book of Isaiah, man. Right. I don't want to hear nothing about I'll go to all nations and tell everybody that Jesus is here for you now. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1, man. Because we're going to put something to bed right now, all right? We're going to put something to bed. How the hell can God give the Israelites laws, statutes, and commandments, right? And then he gave you something to happen to you if you broke those commandments and something to happen to you if you kept those commandments. But then, all of a sudden, Christ said now everybody else can join, but they don't have to go through the damn curses, man, if they break the commandments. 
So how the hell did they just skip a whole part, man? Right? No. They break these commandments, they're going to have to go and captivity like we did. But you know what? It's not talking to the goddamn Gentiles, man. It's talking to the Israelites. How unfair would that be? That would mean they're better than us, huh? If they get to reap all the benefits of being an Israelite, but they don't have to reap the damn uh, curses of being an Israelite. It don't make no goddamn sense. Read that out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently uh-huh. unto the voice of the Lord, thy God. Thy God. Right? To observe uh-huh. and to do all his commandments, right? Right, which I have commanded thee this day. Hey, hold on. Hey, you, hey brother. Look up Hebrew Israelites on YouTube. Get this information. Come back to the laws of you and your family. Y'all got a beautiful spirit, man. All right, Shalom. Go ahead. Go. This is Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee, this day that the Lord will set thee high above all nations. Above who? All nations. Nah, just above the sinners. Above all nations. Nah, above devils. Above all nations. No, above demons. Above all nations. No, above all nations, man. This Bible is dealing with nations. Go ahead. Above all nations of the face of the earth. Right. And all. Fifteen. Give me fifteen. So God said, if you do the will of God, which is keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, you're going to be above all nations, Khan. Khan Akiyam? That's right, man. Right? So how the hell can now the Gentiles be grafted in, but they don't have to go through none of the curses of not keeping the commandments? Read that out. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of of the Lord, thy God. Just like that damn uh, pork eating woman did earlier. She did not hearken to the voice of the Lord, thy God. She said, God talks to her. This is the voice of the Lord. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. Uh huh. Nah, just some of the commandments. All, all his commandments. No, I'm not going to lie, but I eat pork. All his commandments. You got to do all the commandments. Go ahead. And his statutes. Uh huh. Which I command thee. This day. So from then that he commanded that day till now, man, go ahead. That all these curses uh-huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And honestly, man, all you got to do is look around. These curses are... The only people walking up and down here clueless with nothing to do is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. That's right. When you see the so-called white man and the East Indian walking around in here, they, you know what they doing, man? They looking at y'all laughing, man. Okay. They, the damn East Indian man is walking by saying, yeah, I just sold him a damn K2, man. Right? I just sold him a bacon, egg, and cheese in the morning. He eating pork. Right? The so-called white man is saying, yeah, I'm about to put his cousin in jail tomorrow. I'm going to shoot his uncle down in the street tomorrow. But only our people come out here, right, with their blunts and their damn liquor, right, and they damn shorts all high up with their ass hanging out. Okay? God does not like that, sisters. Y'all got to come back to God, right? Brothers, y'all can't be out here smoking weed just doing nothing, man. Y'all got to come back to God, man. And now is not the time, man. You got damn Trump in office and damn Klein in the office, okay? And you talking about, yeah, it's either him or Biden. They both Klan members, man. They both Edomites. You're picking your poison. Since when is the damn slave got to choose his slave master, man? Hey, sisters, y'all going to vote? Are y'all going to vote? Why? Why are you going to vote? Huh? Why? But then Biden is the same thing. Yeah, so why vote? So why not vote? It doesn't matter who's in office. Hold on, Doc. Doc. See? You got to stay in order, bro. Yeah, why not Sherella, though? All pretty They probably wasn't ready to hear anything anyway. That happened for a reason. That the far reason, man. It wasn't ready. Yeah. Yeah. See, 
to her is not Illuminati. To her, it's Egyptology. Man, Egyptology is Illuminati, man. That's right. And you damn Moabites is going in slavery. Corona! 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 Hey, man. They wore masks around us all the time, huh? Oh, the they used to always wear the mask around us. Now they got to wear the mask in the kitchen. They was wearing the mask before the coronavirus. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because Way they walked around it. us. Yeah. We're going to have them wearing their masks in the kingdom, man. On their head, on their feet, on their face, right? On their knee. <laughs> their whole outfit going to be masks. All right? Put them half that suit. <laughs> You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, brothers and sisters, y'all gotta come back to God, man. It ain't time to be out here on Hollywood. It ain't time to be out here waiting for the clubs to open. Right? It ain't that time, right, brother? It's time to come back to God, man. I mean, what do y'all, what, what do y'all, what else is there to do in America, man? You think you about to be a kingpin? A drug lord? Okay? You think you gonna make it as a rapper? You think you gonna be 50 Cent now? It's over, man. The Most High is going to burn this place to the ground. America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. And if you're not ready for it, you're going to get burned along with it, man. Hey, sisters. These two sisters right here. Y'all know y'all nationality? They don't. They worry about selfies. They worry about taking selfies. They nationality is a selfie. That's sad, man. Okay? They nationality is a damn bodysuit, man. Looking like the damn... We already done seen Catwoman. Now our sisters want to dress as damn Catwoman, man. He said, we saw two Catwoman. Come on, you got something? Come on, bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, hold on, suck that over, right? This is a book of Isaiah, chapter three, chapter one, verse three. The ox knows its owner. The who? The ox knows its owner. What kind of animal is ox? It's a dumb animal, right? right? It's saying the ox is dumb, but at least it knows its owner. Go ahead. And the ass, its master's crib. And the ass, which is a stubborn animal, at least it knows how to get home, man. But go ahead. But this, Israel, this for you, brother. This for you. Listen. Go ahead. But Israel uh -huh. do not consider. Uh -huh. My people do not consider. The Most High God said his people don't consider who they are. They call themselves blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. What did they tell you your nationality was? They told you you was a black man, huh? An African American man, right? Something like that. But that ain't in the Bible. How can you how can your race be the color of your pants and you're not even the same color as your pants, right? Why did they do that to us? Because we got enemies on this planet, bro. The so-called white man, if you haven't known already, is your damn enemy, man. All right? You a Hebrew Israelite? And he's, you can tell he knows. He knows. He's like, yeah, that's true. You a Hebrew Israelite? Come back to the laws of God. All right, brother? All right. Shalom, man. See, our people know that the white man is the devil, but they don't know that the Bible says that. Right? <laughs> Ain't that crazy? They know that the white man is something wrong with him, man. They know that the so-called white man be eating his steak bloody. They know that the so-called white man be dressing up like a damn woman, and he's a man. They know that the so-called white woman dresses up as a man, and she's a woman. They know that the so-called white man will push homosexuality and say it's all right. Right? They know that the so-called white man will damn kill kids and rape kids and murder them. But they don't know that the Bible says it's about the so-called white man. Right? Ain't that crazy? Ain't that a kawinky dink? That's why he told you you was a damn Hispanic. And told you you was a black man. And he told you that the white man wrote this Bible. Because he don't want you to go in there and read it and realize that the damn white man is a so-called damn devil the Bible speaks of, man. That's right. right. All right? They got to come out of this folly, man. Go ahead, read that for me, y'all. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Uh -huh. Wisdom, quiet, without. She uttering her voice in the street. That's what we doing out here. We uttering our voice in the streets, man. We uttering wisdom in the streets and people just walking by. Right? We out here with the Bible, but when we ask them do they believe in God, they just walk by. Okay? We ask them do they believe in God in the Bible, they say yeah, but then when we say let me show you one scripture, they keep walking by. Okay? Go ahead. 
She crying in the chief place of Concord. Hold on, I'm gonna prove my point right now. Watch this. Hey, y'all believe in God? Let me show you one scripture, all right? One scripture. Check it out. Like, all praises. Go ahead. She crying in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates in the city. She utters her words saying, how long, ye simple ones? Hold on, what the most I say about our people? How long, ye simple ones, yeah, go ahead. will ye love simplicity? Sisters, how long are we going to love simplicity out here? How long are we going to continue to come out here? She said forever. That's a good answer. It's going to be forever until we come back to the laws of God. Did y'all know that, according to the Bible, we are the real Jews? We are the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who our nationality is. We're not black. Sister, your parents is black. But what color are you? Put your hand next to your parents. It's brown, right? So how are we black? We not, right? Her shirt black. We not black. But we have a nationality according to this Bible. We are the Israelites. Right? We are the Jews according to the Bible. But they're not going to tell us that. Read that for me, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Right? I want y'all to hear this. Listen up. For thou art an holy people. He's saying the Israelites, for y'all are a holy people. Y'all know what holy mean? It don't mean big mama rolling around in the church with her wig flying off. Right? Catching the Holy Ghost. That's not what holy mean. Holy means separate. Go ahead. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. to the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He's chosen thee. Go ahead. To be a special people. A special people. Listen up. Uh-huh. Unto himself. Right. Above all people. Now we all the same. Above all people. No, everybody's equal. Above all people. Go ahead. That are, uh, that are upon the face of the earth. Who can cook better than the black woman? Who could do hair better than a black woman? Who looked better than a black and Hispanic woman? Nobody. Nobody, right? The Most High God said we above all people on the planet. Right. So why are we on the bottom? Why are we out here on the bottom? Why? Because what? Because they mad. You right, they mad. You give me Psalms 83. You go to Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show y'all one more before y'all go, okay? How do we get over here to America? How do we get over here to America? On a ship, huh? Did you know that? That's a prophecy in the Bible? You knew that? That's what's up, sister. I'm going to show you just for edification's sake. Go ahead. This, Check this out, sister. One scripture. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt right. again. With ships. With what? Ships. With what? With ships. So the Most High said he going to bring us into slavery again with what? With ships. Go ahead. By the way, wherefore I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. We ain't seen our homeland again, right. But they took us on ships. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold. You shall be what? Ye shall be sold. You see these pictures right here? We were sold. Who was we sold to? Unto your enemy. Hold on, hold on. Who was we sold to? The white man, right? Let's see what God called him. Go ahead. And ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto your what? Enemy. No, nah, unto your friends. Unto your enemy. So who was the so-called white man according to God? Our enemies, right? So the Most High is telling us that we are special people. We got to keep the laws. And for breaking those laws, he put us into slavery. So how do we get out of slavery? And get a sister a hand, man. Get a sister a hand. That's right. She said she read her Bible. Right? And one of them laws is we can't be out here with booty shorts, all right? But we still love you, sister. All right? <laughs> all praise to the most high, man. Right? It said out of the mouth of babes, man. Okay? The young people will get it. But if you had some damn uh, pig-eating 50-year-old woman, she would not have heard that. She would have been like, no, the white man's my damn friend. Okay, but all you got to do is read the text for what it say. Did you get that Psalms 83? We might as well bring it out. Go ahead. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O Lord. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Hey, brother and sister, y'all know who y'all enemies are? Who is it? The so-called white man, right? Yeah, you already know, brother. 
Uh, you shoot your, your sister down, your brother down with the hands up. That's our damn enemies, man. Go ahead. And they hate thee that lifted up the head. Hold on, brother. Salakia. Is that a strip? Get that. Get that. Somebody get that, man. Get that, Rob. A damn stripper truck, man. I've seen it all, man. I'm about to pack up and go home. Do you see, do you see that? It's a damn stripper truck where you can strip your bit, damn body in front of the world, right? And everybody can see for dollars, man. And we in the end of the world, huh? You think God allows that? Do you think Do you think God allows that? And on that, she got to go, right? Hell, man, hell, maybe she want to get up there. Yeah, it was it was a uh, quarantine. <laughs> and a quarantine stripper truck. And who put that together? I guarantee you, who put that together? Esau, right? And where? It's in where? In France. Yeah, you throw the dollar. You cash out the dollars, man. All right. Isn't it sad that you can walk up to a sister and she turn you down, but you can go touch her whole body in the strip club for money and dollars? And make a hey, you throw a hundred, you can smash. Yep. But when you come out here and try to talk to them, oh, they give you the beatbox, man. That's sad, man. We in. Hey, what did we read earlier? Folly is set in great dignity. Go ahead on that. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And thine enemies is all the other races outside of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go ahead. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Y'all talking to you, you other nations. Y'all going in slavery. Go ahead. Go ahead. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Who the real that? Who are the hidden ones, huh? That's right. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off from being a nation. They don't want us to be a nation. Right? Hey, brother. Let me see your shirt. They want us to be Black Lives Matter. He said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They want us to think we black. They want us to think we damn brown. They want us to think we Hispanic. They want us to think we're Negro. He said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation so that what? So that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So the name of Israel, which is us, can be no more in remembrance. And who does the world think Israel is now? Those damn fake Jews over there getting damn skin cancer, man. Right. From the sun. Go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. Right. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate, confederate flag, confederacy. It's, it makes sense, right? They are confederate against thee. Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom. The so-called white man. And the Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs, of Moab, of Moab, the so-called uh, Chinese, and the Hagarines, so-called one of the African nations, Gabal, and Ammon, Gabal's another African nation, and Ammon, Ammon is the damn Japanese, and Amalek, Amalek is the fake damn Jews, those rat bastards in our homeland, go ahead, <laughs> the Philistines, with, the Philistines is another African nation, with the inhabitants of Tyree, Tyree is a damn African nation. So those are all the people that's come against the people of Israel, man. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're not no damn Africans. We're not no damn Asians. We're not no damn East Indians. No, we are the sons of the living God, man. That's right. That's right. And we are here to tell y'all that we coming back. Right? We got next, man. Who got next? We got that's next. That's right, man. We got next. We ruling next on this planet, man. That's right. And you know what? When we rule next, it ain't going to be no goddamn stripper trucks, man. That's right. It ain't going to be no damn brothers and sisters getting shot down in the street with their damn hands up, man. It ain't going to be no kids missing no more. Hey, didn't they just catch uh, a U-Haul truck or a 18-wheeler with 50 kids in the back, man? They just, that ain't gonna be in the kingdom 
to heaven. You know why? Because we're going to be a rulership, and the so-called white man is not going to be a rulership. That's right. Bring me that when the wicked are in rulership, uh, the people mourn. Go ahead, Rock. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18, right? But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. No, we're going to ask nicely. Shall take the kingdom. Now we gonna write a letter to all the other nations. Shall take, take the kingdom. kingdom. No, please, Mr. Esau, can we be in power? What are we gonna do? Take the kingdom. Go ahead. And possess the kingdom. And possess the kingdom just for a, a minute. Forever. No, just for a second. Forever. Forever. No, for about a month. February. Maybe February we can have it for Black History Month. Forever. No, forever. How long? Even. Forever and ever. That's a non-stop rulership, man. That's right. Grab me Job 9 24, man. What you got? It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. Right. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the Israelites are in authority and we're keeping the laws of God and we're enacting the laws of God onto the land, the people rejoice, man. But go ahead. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. People start marching with damn signs. Talking about their life matters to the people that know that their life don't matter. Why do you have to convince another race of people that your life matters to them? Ain't that true? Do you have to convince me that your life matters? I should just know, right? So why are our people walking around trying to convince your people that our life matters? We're not all American. American is stolen land. And you're a damn devil. You're an Edomite. And you're going in slavery. Come back here, boy. Come here, boy. We see you, boy. We, we see you. Get ready for captivity, man. We all American. No. Your people stole this damn place for the Native American Indians. How dare you say that we all American, man? That's right. Damn devil. That's right. 12 tribes. Come back to the laws, brother. Your name Judah? That's right. Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh, all praises to the Most High, brother. Come back to the laws, put that blunt down, put that weed down, put that smoke down. Pull up your pants, right? me, brother. <laughs> I hear you, brother. But come back to the laws, all right? All right, come back to the laws. You can't be smoking with a name like Judah. This pants all the way down, is that? Huh? <laughs> That's right, brother. That's right. I don't even know what he said. Go ahead. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Y'all heard that? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who runs the earth? Esau. He said, you know, you, you want to say it. Who runs the earth? Esau. Blanco. Blanco, see? Who got the number one language around the world? English. Who got the number one currency around the world? The damn dollar. In order to fly a plane, everybody has to learn English. That's right. In order to drive a boat, you have to learn English. Read it again, brother. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who is the wicked? The so-called white people. That's right. You guys are the wicked. And you know it. They know it. Go ahead. He covers the face of the judges thereof. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who covered the face of Jesus and made him white? Who made Jesus white? Was it the Asians that made Jesus white? Was it the uh, Africans that made Jesus white? Was it the damn uh, East Indians that they made Jesus white? No, the so-called white man made Jesus white. That's right. Read that again, brother. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What's for you, brother? The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Go ahead. He covers the face of the judges. They're up. He covered. Hey, that's true, huh? See, now on that, they got to go. They know they were wicked. It said he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Go ahead. If not, where and who is he? The, the Bible is saying if the so-called white man is not the devil, then who the hell is, man? That's right. Right? You might be a half What's up, man? You Muslim? What's your nationality? Somalian. Somali. Right, right, right. East African. Right? So did, so y'all sold us to the white people. No, we never did. We got colonized by Italians. No, I'm talking about when we went into slavery, right? 1600, y'all sold us to the white people. So Somalis didn't exist at that time. They did. No, we were like Turkish or something. So y'all just some new made up uh, nationality. We're, 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 uh, we're uh, evolutionary. 
communities like Ethiopia, Kenya. And We're Ethiopian, I can tell. I'm mixed, I'm mixed. You're, I'm you're a Kushite. You're Richard, you're Richard. Yeah, you're, you're a Kushite. Richard, my neighbor. Right. You know, you know who we are. Nah, I know who y'all are. And y'all know who we are. Y'all know we not the same as y'all, right? You're from West Africa, right? Ancestral. Well, we're from Israel. Right. Originally. Right? We are the real Israelites. Hey, you right. guys call us Akata. I know you guys do. You guys, yeah, y'all call us uh, Akata. Akata. You guys call us Akata. You, you know, know, you know what Akata means. You, know you, know you know what Akata means? You ever heard any of your brothers say that? Akata. They call it. They call the Negroes Akatas. No, nah, it means a cotton picking nigga. Is that a white man? We're just like y'all. No, y'all not. Because who's getting shot down in the street? Is it Somalians? Is it Ethiopians? Black men. Who's getting black? The Negroes are getting shot down in the street. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The black men, the Negroes are getting shot down in the street in America. They're not shooting down those Somalians and Ethiopians and Eritreans. I'm a social activist. And that's fine. But we're not the same people. Well, I leave Marxism. You know that, huh? I can tell he They know, they know. He's trying to fight. He's trying to clean. <laughs> and honestly, they, know. they right could there. be Israel, who knows? That's me right there. That's fine, but you're not a black man. You know me I'm black? You told me you were Somali. I'm nationality, you said I'm but race, I'm black. So what's our nationality? If we black, what's our nationality? African American. No, that's not a nationality. What is that? Exactly. That's the point I'm making. They call us black. You guys know who you are. You see the point I'm making? Because of slavery. Who put us in slavery? Who sold us to those people to put us in slavery? The Africans. Now, let's get back to the point. The point is we are the Israelites. That's our nationality. We are the real Jews. You educated? You ready to have this conversation? Uh, he said, don't put me up to the fire, man. Hey, don't oh, well, you can swear to God because it ain't his name. Anyway. Yeah, hold on. Is this Jesus? Who is that? Can you can you step on that image right there? See, that's how I know that's his God. That's how I know you're a Hamite. So you said you're Muslim. Yeah. What? What? Okay. Let me ask you this. Give me one prophecy that Muhammad gave that's not in the Bible. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus saying that I am God is not in the Bible. What? I said, give me a prophecy that Muhammad said that's not in the Bible. Where do you know that? Uh, what? That Jesus saying that I am God. That's not, that's not in the Quran. The Quran says that Jesus is not God, basically. Like, clearly. But Jesus is a God. Give me, um, give me, give me Psalms 82 and 6. Let's see. Wait, what book are we reading? We're reading the Holy Bible, where the Quran came from. Come from there. It didn't? What came first, the Bible or the Quran? Does it, does it, does it mean it came from it, though? Absolutely. It's, got, so, it's documented. Yes, yes. So there's, uh -huh. there's pieces of it. Where did Muslims there. get to not eat pork from? It's in there. It's in the Bible. Where did Muslims get to, to have their women dress modestly? In the Bible. Where did Muslims get to keep the Sabbath? The Bible. Where did Muslims get to play to pray to the East? From the Bible, man. Absolutely. To pray to the East? Give me, uh, uh, his bed chambers was faced towards the east. I'm gonna show you this, man. Read that. 82 and 6. This Let me is, show you something. This Let me is, show y'all something, man. This is Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I know they tell y'all that the American Negro is just stupid and dumb and lazy. Is he black? Absolutely not. Is anybody you've ever seen black? You know what color the color black is? This is black. Have you ever seen somebody this color? Maybe actually over there in Hanland, but nobody and you've seen in America is that black. How am I not black? What color are you, bro? You're black? Put your arm next to his shirt. No, put your arm next to his shirt. Put your arm next to his shirt. To his shirt. You're not black then, right? Look, I'm a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. He's a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. It ain't got nothing to do with skin color. It's not. It's about nationality. But they told they told every other nations that we are black. Why? Because they wanted they didn't want y'all to know that we're the real Jews. Read that. This is Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. Uh-huh. I have said, ye are gods 
This is God talking to the Israelites. He said that, what? Ye are gods. So we're gods. And I, all uh -huh. of you are children of the Most High. So how you feel about that? That we're gods. That would make Jesus a God too. Well, that's the issue I have. How can a human being be God? Because what does God mean? It doesn't. God or the word. The word in the Hebrew is Allahayim. Allah, that's where y'all get Allah from. Allah means what? Allah means power. Allah means power. In the Hebrew, Allah doesn't mean power. Is Allah? Is Allah? Stop it. Is Allah a Hebrew word? It is. So in the Hebrew, Allah means power. So Allah Hayam means powers, plural. Don't even deal with it. You, you, you're finished. You're going in slavery. Okay. So where's so God said that we are the powers on the earth. That will make Jesus a God, but he's not the most high God. The most high God is Yahweh. Hey, Muslims always do that. I believe in what I believe. Y'all believe what y'all believe. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's in the Quran, but you know what's in the Bible? Muslims is going in slavery. Y'all going in slavery. Y'all not in slavery now. Y'all going into slavery. What's not man written on the earth? Man didn't write the Quran. So what's your point? Uh huh. What was their nationalities? They were Israelites. So men wrote the Bible, but divine inspired men wrote this Bible. It's not an interpretation. This is strictly for the Most High God. Give me written by the hand of God. Give me that out. I'm going to show y'all, man. Hey, could Muhammad read or write? He was literate. So how did he write the Quran? What happened? What was the angel's name? Gabriel, that's that's in the Bible though, right? Stop getting our stuff from the stop plagiarizing us, man. Come on, do you know what Gabriel means? Gabariala? What does Gabariala mean? Of course I believe in the Bible. Our ancestors wrote this Bible. What does Gabariala mean? It means warrior of God. How the hell could an Israelite angel come to a damn heathen Ishmaelite? Y'all Ishmael, right? You guys are Ishmael, right? That's what Muslims believe. They're from Ishmael, right? Drop that. Give me Romans 9. I want to say like 14. I know y'all got to go. And on that, they got to go. Y'all get ready for slavery. Y'all put us in slavery. We're going to put y'all in slavery, all right? Thus saith the Lord. What you got? No, no, no. It's like... Uh, Damn, I'm looking for uh, neither are they the seed of Abraham or they all children. No, 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 it's right here. It's in uh, it's in it's in Romans nine. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Here it is. It's earlier. It's Romans nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Start at uh, start at uh, six. This is Romans chapter 9 verse 6 Not as though the word of God has taken none effect For they are not all Israel which are of Israel Neither because they are seed of Abraham They are all children So they're saying that they're from Ishmael okay? They're from Ishmael okay? So it's saying neither because they're the seed of Abraham are they all children in Isaac shall the seed be called. No, in uh, Ishmael. In Isaac shall the seed be called. That is they which are the children of the flesh. See, they're the children of the flesh, man. Abraham got a little weak, okay? He went into the handmaid. And he didn't trust God, right? And they had Ishmael. But it said the seed is with Isaac. Go ahead. That is they... Which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of God. What are those three Hamites? 
These are not the children of God. You know those three handmaids that tried to come and confound the prophets? These are not the children of God. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. We already know who the children of the promise are. That's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? By Shem and Mashiach Al-Rashai. He said he's going to give us a truth that nobody could continue with. Right? They're trying to come up here all happy and, hey man, we're brothers. I'm a fighting activist. Right? I got a picture of me with a bullhorn. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. We're brown, brother, brother. Nah, dude, you a damn African. We are the Israelites. You, you damn sold us to the white man, man. Go ahead, brother. And what's so funny, he trying to act like he never heard of Lakata. Come on. Dude in the glasses, he heard of it before. You can tell, man. Where we at on time? Rob Juven. Oh, we're out. An hour and 34 minutes. An hour and 34 minutes. Um, uh, 40, like, oh, uh, 40. How long are you in? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So that's what we got here to do, man. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all got to come back to the laws of God. Otherwise, we gonna keep getting shot down in the street by our oppressors. Okay, we gonna get keep shot and getting shot down in the street. And coronavirus is not real. Coronavirus is not real. Okay. The CDC just came out and said 4% of the deaths are from COVID related. 4%, man. Wow. Right? So that means 96% of the deaths related to COVID, it was people dying from motorcycle accidents they said it was COVID, man. Come on, man. I'm right. And that's the CDC saying that. You got something, Murphy? You got something? Come on, come on. Oh, the young king bring up. It was made up by the government. It was absolutely made up by the government, man. Why was it made up by the government? Who can tell me why it was made up by the government? What was their reason for that? Go ahead. It was made up by the government so they could take you and force you to uh, take a vaccine. Come. They want you to take the vaccine, and not only that, they want you to wear these damn masks. What are these masks doing? It's making you breathe in the carbon dioxide killing you slowly. Not only that, they want to get you prepared of going into a store, and if you don't have your mask, you can't buy or sell, right? What does that lead up to? If you don't have the chip, you can't buy or sell. They're getting you prepared for the mark of the beast, man. And you damn so-called white people are going in slavery. That's what the Bible says. Alright? So I will get ready for slavery. I would do some push-ups, some sit-ups, right? Run around the block. That's what the Bible says. Y'all believe in the Bible, right? The Bible says y'all going in slavery. The Bible says that God hates all so-called white people. You believe that? Or do you want me to show you? Actually, let me ask you this question. Are, is your skin actually white? It is? Your mask is white on the inside, right? But your skin is what? Red. Red. Right? When you get embarrassed, you turn red, right? Right. Give me uh, Genesis 25, 25. I'm going to show you guys something. You guys probably never heard this in your life. Your parents ain't going nowhere. They're watching the damn folly shit show over there. All right? So let me show you this one scripture. Go ahead. This is Genesis 25, verse 25. And the first came out red. And the first came out what color? Red. The first came out red. So you guys are actually red. You're not white. Go ahead. All over like a hairy garment. Uh-huh. And they called his name Esau. They called his name what? Esau. So you guys are Esau according to the Bible. Okay. You're not white. You're not Caucasian. You're Esau. Edomites. You're ready for slavery. Okay. So that's what we are here to do, man. We are to tell the truth. What you got? Okay. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity? What race of people led the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity? Who did this to us? Brother and sister, hermano, who did this to us? So-called white man, gringo, right? Blanco, see? Gringo, see? Blanco, right? Read it again. 
He that lived into captivity shall go into captivity. So who's going into captivity? The so-called white man is going into captivity, man. That's right. That's thus said the Lord, right, brother? That's right, man. Your, your family, you and your family should be happy and proud, man. That y'all ain't got to deal with these damn devils no more, man. That's right. But y'all got to keep the laws of God in order to benefit from that. Right. Otherwise, you're going to die in the land of your captivity, man. You're going to die in the same land that your oppressor's in. Right? Right? That's right. What's your nationality, sir? Your nationality, yeah. Afghan. Afghan. So you go into slavery. You ready for that? See, to him, it's a joke. Right? He's like, yeah, thumbs up. I'm, ha I'm ready for it, sure. He don't understand what's coming, man. What's coming is we gonna have you in that cotton field, boy, whipping you and your damn little children, man. Right. And we gonna dash their heads against the stone. Oh. It ain't gonna be no thumbs up in that day. Okay? And brother, you gotta gird your loins up, man. You over here dressing like the so-called white man. Grow your beard out, man. Untuck your shirt. Put some fringes on that thing, man. Okay? Put some socks on. Hey, man, I don't want to shoot on the brother, but it's real, man. We shouldn't be out here trying to dress like the so-called white man. Right? What's your nationality, man? Huh? Why you pointing at me? I said, what's your nationality? How is your nationality me? That don't make no sense, man. And hey, you look like a damn Hamite. Are you a Hamite? Are we a Katas? Damn Hamite. Get ready for slavery, man. They ain't playing around out here. Hey, brothers and sisters, y'all know y'all the real Jews according to the Bible? We the real Jews, man. We got to start keeping the laws, keeping Hanukkah, Passover, right? No more Christmas, man. Christmas is BS. Fourth of July, our people was in slavery on the Fourth of July. Why are we celebrating the Fourth of July? Why are we celebrating Halloween, man? You know that ain't got nothing to do with us? Are y'all going to celebrate Christmas coming up? He said, yeah, see, he want them toys, man. Right? See, she said, yeah. But y'all don't understand that in Hanukkah, you get a toy for seven days, every day. That's what our real uh, holidays are, the Hanukkah. We the real Jews, man. Don't you want a toy every day for seven days? Tell your family to start celebrating Hanukkah, man. All right? Come on, man. So you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we the real Jews. And you so-called Asians, y'all going in slavery, man. COVID. Corona! 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 Hey, get away from them, sister. They're gonna give you COVID. She said, that's messed up. But they used to wear masks around y'all because y'all was black, man. Don't give these damn nations no slack. She gonna say that's messed up. But it, was, it wasn't it was messed up when they was beating your sister in the nail shop and beating her head in, huh? It wasn't messed up then, huh? Y'all too quick to forgive these damn nations that do everything to y'all, man. Rape, rob, murder y'all. Shoot y'all down in the street. And now y'all want to hold hands in a damn march with the so-called white man. Hey, the so-called white man can drop dead, man. That's thus said the Lord. He said, yeah, see, he knows his race is wicked. You know your race is wicked, huh? Your race be shooting us down in the street with our hands up, man. Now, we don't all have nothing. We, we didn't do this to other people. Did we do this to other people? Did we take them in slavery? Did we rape the men? Did we rape the children? We didn't do that, man. We don't all have no problems. Let me tell you something, man. Did Dylan Ruth shoot up a church? He shot up that church, huh? Did they take him to Burger King after that? Sure did. They took his ass to Burger King. But you got a man who's stomping a fight, and he gets shot seven times in the damn back. But you got Dylan Ruth who's shooting up a church. Hey, brother, you got to separate from the so-called white woman. That's your enemy, man. That's your enemy, brother. Right? And he don't care, okay? Because they're dealing with lust. Okay? So when our people, if we shot up a church, they would probably drop a damn bomb on Watts. But the white man shoots up a church, and they take him to damn Burger King. The white man shoots up a damn movie theater, and they take him into custody. The white man will run after the police with a gun and they're falling over, tripping and falling because they don't want to shoot him. But our people is them with a, in a backyard with a handgun, Salakia, with a toy, uh, uh, a cap gun, man. Same age as Shotty. And they shoot the brother, man, in the backyard. So no, we don't all do the same thing and have our own problems. Your damn race is wicked, man. And you're going in slavery. No, it's not like Kimbo's backyard where everybody saw him run out of
Okay, back up a little bit. What did you say? Right there. It's kind of, it's a give and take. Life is give and take, you know? It's give and take? You give, you give what you give, and so when you disrespect, you go. So you're saying, like, you reap what you sow, right? Yeah. So, what did y'all reap? Life. Life is life. Shit happens. I mean, what did y'all sow? Y'all so rape, rob, slavery, and murder, right? It's unfortunate for you, man. So what should happen to that? I mean, everybody's got to go. You got to get punished. Uh, you know, you're going to go through restitution. Uh -huh. You're going to have to take your classes, take your management. You're going to have to cry every so night. So what should happen because that happened? Or maybe not cry, but you're going you're gonna to shed some remarks. Give me Isaiah 14. No, give me Isaiah 22. 14 and 21. Hopefully, you know, the way I look at it, I've never made a mistake. I, you know, as long as I can learn from it and get better right. after whatever. I am going to get into that location. Right. I grew from that. What's your name? What's your name? Brian. Brian. Okay, Brian. So, here's the issue, okay? Your race of people took my race of people and the Hispanics, right, into slavery. And you guys are benefiting and just walking around on stolen land, right? And nothing's happened for it. So let me show you. So, Brian, what? Let me show you how God feels about that. Are you? Do you believe in God? I do. Okay, let me show you what God says about that. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the nation of people that led another nation of people into captivity, they got to go in captivity. Are you ready to go in captivity? He's not. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's what happens. has to happen to your race of people. The so-called white man, they have to go in captivity. You didn't do it, right? Read that in Lodeo. This is a book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Because he said he didn't do it. The, the, the ancestors did it, right? Go ahead. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Uh -huh. For his children. For his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. So we got to slaughter you and your race of people because of the iniquity of what your forefathers did. Because they're not here anymore, right? But their blood is still here. And it's pumping through you. Right. Give me Numbers 35, 33. Uh, numbers 35, 33. So that's, that's what the Bible says. You agree with the text. Oh, now the Bible contradicts itself. But just a minute ago, he believed in the Bible. When you go to court, don't you got to put your hand on the Bible? So this is the word of God. Brother, you got to separate from the enemies, all right? No no holding hand with the, with the white man, woman, and child. That's your enemy, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defileth the land. Blood defiles the land. Go ahead. And the land cannot be cleansed. Of the blood that is shed there is. Uh -huh. But by the blood of him that shed it. So the only way to cleanse this land is to kill the people that okay, brother. destroyed this land by killing the people that were in this land. All right, all right, so right, your right. blood got to be shed because face. our blood was shed. Nobody makes sense? Brother. You re-put your soul, right? What? So that's what has to happen, Brian. So you got to go into slavery, I would get ready for it, or you might just get destroyed by the missiles. It's up to you. You say, you no, know, nah, I didn't say nothing about getting shot down. You're going to get destroyed by nuclear missiles or you're going into slavery. Either one. But it ain't going to be no happy ending for you. All right? So, are you, are you, do you apologize for, for this? You don't apologize for this. That's why you got to get destroyed. Proud, proud, you the That's why you got to get destroyed. I told you he was proud. Because you're not sorry for what your ancestors did. No, he's proud. If it wasn't for this, you wouldn't even be in America. No, I'm not no. Right. I'm not somebody that I own my life. I don't grant life. But here's the thing. 
If you feel that way, you have nothing to do with this, huh? You should just leave the country. You should. This is not your country. This is not your country. Who was here? Who was here? The Native Americans were here, right? Hey, man, come on. Come on. Come on, don't get, don't get up. Come on. Brother, you got to get in order, man. You're over here fighting for the damn white man, your oppressor. You're fighting for your oppressor, man. See? And a gift destroyed the heart. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 to 7. Come on, man. Come on. Bro, get in order, man. You a damn elder, man. Pick your pants up, man. Who your pants up, man? You a elder. Come on, man. Anyway. If I were you, I would leave this country because you are walking on stolen land and white privilege, man. The reason why you get to be here is because your ancestors raped, robbed, and murdered and killed our ancestors. Don't that make sense? Yeah, you got slavery coming up. That's what you got going on, okay? Get ready for that. Somebody give me Isaiah 49, 23. Uh, look at him, look at him. Some cash seconds to the wrong. You're a good man. You're an Edomite. You can't be good. Uh, Right, but, but God plays favorites. He doesn't. So God don't have a chosen people. Let me be around in seventy-six. I know you don't care about God. I know you don't care about the Bible. Like where? Like where? Give me an example. Let me tell you something that you don't know about the Bible. Let me tell you something. The Bible is about the Israelites. It's about one race of people, one nation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Brian. The Bible is about the Israelites. Okay? It's they are black and brown people. Nobody in this Bible is white except for the Edomites. God hates the Edomites. Okay? So, Christ sent his son back for the Israelites. These people on this side, Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, God cares about those people. He loves those people. Those are his chosen people. And your people rape, rob, and murder and stole from those people. So what is God going to do to your people? Exactly. Read that. Read that in Isaiah 49, 23. Listen up, boy. It's got them restrictions. This is a book of Isaiah. Chapter 49. And verse 23. Listen, Brian. Listen, Brian. Listen, Brian. Listen, go ahead. And King shall be thy nursing father. It says, and King shall be thy nursing father. Go ahead. And Queen. Thy nursing mother and queens, thy nursing mothers. Go ahead. They shall bow down to thee. You gonna do what, Brian? They shall bow down to thee. So it says you gonna bow down to the Israelites with their face toward the earth. With their face toward the earth. So whether you do it now or whether you do it later, you gonna bow down, man. Right? And we not gonna give you no remorse in the kingdom because for one. He said he didn't care about what happened to our people. And two, he don't want to do it now. And three, he don't believe we're the children of God. That's right. Right? So you might just get destroyed, whether it be tonight or whether it be later. The impending doom is coming. And brother, you got to get in order, man. You a damn elder, man. You got your damn pants down. You hugging the white man. You got that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Hey, man, this is why two-thirds of our people got to go, man. We can't come back in power until two-thirds of our people get put to death, man. You an elder. You shouldn't be out here like that. You can't pull your pants down. Man, pull your damn pants up, man. You an elder. You're twice my age, man. You're supposed to be teaching us, man. 
But none. You ain't out here teaching us. You over here got your pants down and you hugging a damn white man who you put your damn daddy in slavery. Who you put your damn grandpa in slavery, man. Gird up your loins, brother. Read that up. It's the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, verse 7. <laughs> surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. It says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. If you're not mad about your oppression, then God said you are not wise. That's right. That's right. If you're not mad about what the so-called white man has done to you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, then you are not wise. Go ahead. And a gift destroyeth the heart. See, that's why he's able to hug the damn white man. That's right, brother. A gift destroyeth the heart. Just because these so-called white people give you something, that don't mean that they love you, man. Just because your damn white neighbor lets you borrow the damn hedge clippers don't mean that they love you, man. Just because the damn, the damn classmate gave you an extra pencil in class, that don't mean that they love you, man. Read it again, huh? And a gift destroyeth the heart. A gift will destroy your heart to the point where you want to hug the damn so-called white man. Yeah, whatever, man. Get in order, man. Or you're going to get destroyed, man. Read that up. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28. Yeah, read that. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What did the Most High do to this dude right here? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What did the Most High do to this man right here? Smite thee with madness. Go ahead. And blindness. And blindness. And astonishment of heart. It's an astonishment that this man is out here as old as my damn grandpa, and he out here pulling his pants down in front of man, woman, and children, man. That's an astonishment of heart. Read that again, huh? And the Lord shall smite thee with madness. Smite this man with madness and blindness, man. And astonishment of heart. It's an astonishment to see that, man. It's an astonishment to see a 50-year-old man with his pants down. It's an astonishment to see our sisters out here twerking and whatnot, 50 years old, man. That's an astonishment. That's what drugs will do to you, man. But it ain't even his fault. Who put the drugs in the community? We ain't got no damn boats and airplanes, man. Who put the drugs in our community? The so-called white man. Okay? But y'all still want to love and hug these people and march with them. No, man, the so-called white man could drop dead. That's right. That's thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy God. That's all right. Honestly, all this folly has made me tired. <laughs> I don't know if y'all want to wrap it up, but we can, man. Come on. Come on. We've seen enough, man. But we still out here, let me uh, get one more, Isaiah 58 and 1. We've seen enough, but we still out here to give our people the truth, man. Right, brother? You know you're an Israelite? Y'all know y'all the Israelites according to the Bible? They don't care about that. They don't care about God. They don't care about church. They don't care about the Bible. They don't care about the Most High God or His Son. All they care about is twerking and smoking weed. That's all they care about, man. And meat meal and drink. And all these damn faggot rappers, man. In a damn NBA playoffs. Hey, man, come back to the laws of God. Ain't no time to be out here playing. Read that, huh? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. This is what we out here to do. Go ahead. Cry aloud. Uh-huh. Spare not. We ain't sparing no damn feelings. Whether you're 58 years old or you're 8 years old. We Lift. gonna tell you the truth. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like what? Like a trumpet. No, we supposed to come out here and speak soft to your wicked ass Negroes. Like, like a trumpet. Like a trumpet. Uh huh. And show my people. No, show all people. And show my people. God says show His people, His chosen people. Go ahead. Their transgression. Judge them. Uh huh. And the house of Jacob, their sin. Judge them to the fullest, man. What? Show them where they're going off. Tell them it's, tell them it's wrong. Right. You about to walk. Like it. If you about to walk into the street and there's a bus coming, I'm going to tell you. If you out here on crack, I'm going to tell you. If you out here as a sister and you got booty shorts on, I'm going to tell you it's wrong. If you out here smoking a damn blunt, I'm going to tell you it's wrong, man. Okay? He said, God bless him, but he's smoking a joint, man. But if I ask him if he cared about God, he's going to say, yeah. But when God tell you to not smoke weed and to pull your damn pants up and stop showing your drawers as a man, he gonna say he don't care. Our people don't care about God, man. We starting to realize that in these last days. Read it one more time, huh? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Read. 
Pray aloud. Uh -huh. Spare not. Right. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Like a trumpet. Go ahead. And show my people uh -huh. their transgression. Right. And the house of Jacob. Their sin. In the house of Jacob, their sins. And on that, I'm going to say, Kwame Asherala, Shalom to the 12 tribes. We come out here to do the work of the Lord, man. Right? We come out here to do the work of the Lord. We put our bodies on the line, man, because we love our nation and we love the Most High. Okay? So with that, we say, Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Who got next? We got next. Who got next? We got next. Who got next? We got next. For how long? For how long? For how long? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? When? Now. When? Now. When? Now. How? 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 How?